Hey guys, what is going on today? Today we got a new product from Chemical Guys that we're going to be trying out today on my brand new 20, uh, well it's not brand new, it's 2013 Nissan GTR as you guys probably already know by now I have had for a little bit and I will actually doing the full detail and cleaning today as I just picked it up on Saturday and I want to go ahead and clean it, detail it, uh, get the swirls out and whatnot. So we're going to actually be washing with a product I've never tried before, it's from Chemical Guys. It's their V07 high gloss, uh, uh, high gloss car wash soap. So we'll be actually testing it out here today with the two bucket method. Well, the one bucket will have the water, one bucket will have the soap in it. And uh, let me first off say, uh, Chemical Guys sometimes hasn't had the best quality soap. Very thin, watered down soap for me. And uh, some of the products work really good in, let's say, my foam cannon, where the two bucket method, not so much. So that's why I'm actually testing these out, to actually show you some of the real world results and let you know how, uh, what it actually is going to look like if you buy these kind of products. And I've actually contacted these Chemical Guys and I've asked them, I said, look, your guys work great for products for your chemical gun or your, your foam cannon, but when it actually comes to the two bucket method, it just doesn't work that good. It's too watered down. So we're going to be testing out another one of their products here and seeing if it's the same way. If it's not, I'll be able to give them a two thumbs up as usual, but if not, at least you'll be able to see the real results. And that's what I try and always do with all my videos. So I've got my son here, Nathan, with me. He's kind of pimped out, chilling. He's the reason we got GTR. So you guys can blame him. He said, you know what, Daddy, I need a back seat. The 370Z is not going to do good, so you got to go buy the GTR. And I was like, all right, sounds good. So that was the plan. We actually bought the GTR just because we had the baby. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. So blame this little dude right here. He looks a little messy. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and set up the camera over here. I'm going to do the two-bucket method, fill it up with water, all that good stuff. And I'll show you all that stuff, measuring it out, and then we'll go from there and actually uh, start washing. So I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and read off some of the directions for the Comfort Guys uh, car wash here and see what it says. It says directions, uh, shake well, add one ounce of hybrid V7 uh, high-gloss car wash to five gallons of water. Wash surface, rinse using clean water to, for a perfect shine. Follow with hybrid V7 high gloss spray sealant for a brilliant shine and protection. So basically what I'm going to be doing is filling this up as a five gallon bucket. A lot of you guys have asked me what size is a five gallon bucket. How do you, some people actually ask me, how do you know if you have five gallons in there? I'm like, it's a five gallon bucket, guys. This isn't hard science. So, uh, I mean, it's got to fill up, okay, guys? And just uh, put the thing in there. And then, of course, for all the skeptics out there, I have my little uh, measuring cup here for uh, one ounce here. So uh, you can see the 10 ounce line over here, two ounce. So I just got to get it up to one ounce. It kind of scares me with just one ounce, you know what I mean? I feel like it's going to be pretty flipping watered down like a lot of the Chemical Guys products are. So we'll see how it goes. But you know what? That's why I try and actually do these products. And what I might end up doing here in the end is I might actually bring out the uh, foam cannon if it's still really watered down like I've done in the past to see how it actually would do, to handle in the foam cannon. Foam cannon usually makes anything really foamy, you know what I mean? It looks really, really good, but uh, they, I notice they don't sometimes concentrate on the people that uh, are, uh, let's say, peasants that don't have the foam cannon or a foam gun, and the, their uh, stuff with the two bucket system just doesn't work that great. And you'll always notice in a lot of the Chemical Guys videos, they always show it with, they're hitting it with the um, pressure washer to make it really foam up and suds up. Well, if you don't have a pressure washer, you're not going to be able to have that ability. So that's why I'm trying to give you these real world results. So if it actually does work really good, I can't wait to actually try it. And if it does work really good, but if not, you will actually see exactly here what's going to happen. So let me go ahead and fill this up with water. We'll measure out one ounce and then we'll go from there. So I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get to it. Obviously, I got my clean water bucket like I always do right here. They both have grit guards, as you guys know, or whether you're not know, I'll show it to you real quick just to make sure you guys know. There you go, right there. So I always use grid guards in both of them to help protect against dirt and stuff like that. Trap the dirt below and uh, prevent any swirls and stuff like that. So let's go ahead in here. The water is a little bit chilly today. I mean, it's actually, I think it was yesterday at the Meekum car auction, it was like 78 degrees, almost 80. It was, it was actually kind of hot here again. I mean, we're still, like I said, early January. So let's go ahead. We're just doing one ounce, remember, to five gallons, which kind of scares me. But hey, I'm going to trust Chemical Guys. I'm doing just as it says per according to their, uh, their rules here. So I'm going to... Eyeball the best I can, of course. One ounce, okay? So, yeah, it's kind of a little sloppy, but trust me, it is one ounce. I'm just gonna pour it in there, just like it says. No, no trickery or anything. Oh my God, it, the scent just hit me. The orange scent is amazing. <sighs> you know, it's just, uh, uh, it smells like fresh oranges. And you know, because I live in Florida, you know, there's orange groves right down the street here in St. Cloud, out in the country. And um, it's just wow. So yeah, okay. We got the water in there. It's actually turning the or the water a little bit orange. Okay. So I'm just trying to get all a little bit of excess out here, letting it to rinse off. And I'll go ahead and try and stir it up a little bit. But you can see right now, like when I stir it up, there's obviously going to be no, there's no foam or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the actual uh, hose system to kind of, you know, agitate it some a little bit. 
but I've seen a lot of the professionals, they'll just do this to go ahead and uh, get the water done, but there's just, right now otherwise, there's really nothing in there. You can hear my hands actually squeak a little bit, you know what I mean? And I, I just don't know what it is about like these, uh, these online companies, a lot of them, they don't actually uh, make it really thick and rich like some of the uh, over-the-counter products that you buy, like Walmart or AutoZone or anything like that. Those just seem like a lot better car wash to me. But hey, if it works, it works. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and suds it up like I said. Just really get it in there. See what I mean? How it agitates it does really good then. And this is what they do usually with the big old uh, foam cannon, the actual uh, wand of the pressure washer. They'll do this to go ahead and get the suds going. See how the suds are now been activated? This is what I'm talking about. So, uh, but still, if I rub my hands behind between it here, let me get next to the camera so you can actually hear it. See what I mean? So it's not like a lot of lubricity or anything in it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and spray down the GTR here quick, get it all washed off, like uh, in the loose dirt off it. And then I'm going to come back here. I bought a brand new mint. I mean brand new because I didn't want any contaminants in there because today I'm going to be actually detailing it and actually getting the swirls out. So I bought a brand new mint and we're going to start washing it down. It's only about 74, 75 degrees today, so it's perfect time for me to get this done. And I'll show you part of it, how it's, how it's getting washed and then if it's a maintaining studs or not. And if it's not, then I'll go ahead and bring out the pressure washer and we'll attach the foam can and we'll go from there. But this way at least you get to see a true world world two bucket system. So it actually does have foam, but you had to actually spray it in there to activate it. So just letting you go, as you guys know, but the lubricity is almost non-existent, okay? So there you go. Let's move on to go ahead and wash. All right, real quick guys, before I forget, I'm already almost uh, done with the car. I just got to do the one side of the car left over there and it's all gone. Now you can see I've already done the top, the whole top, the whole side of the hood. Uh, the side of the car, the front uh, bumper and everything, and there's still suds left. So obviously already, good, thumbs up. I want to see that kind of product, you know what I mean? Coming out of uh, Chemical Guys, because a lot of their products, like I said, aren't that great for the two bucket system. So I really want to, um, you know what I mean, get some good uh, quality stuff going on here. But uh, so far, as you can see, the suds are still there. Is it as sudsy as I'd like? No, but that's just being nitpicky and typical stuff. Is it as uh, lubricity, is it there? Like, is it slick between your fingers and stuff like that in the paint? No, but I mean, you know, like I said, I'm trying to give you real world results, but it's not as bad as some of the other products I have tested from them car wash wise, you know what I mean? So I really can't complain too much about it. So I really wanted to show you just this really quick clip here and actually show you these uh, sexy blue exhaust tips that came on with the exhaust. So, you know, that kind of thing real quick, but you can actually see there is suds left. I've already done uh, three quarters of the car, but you know what? I had to show you this stuff real quick and, uh, show you proofs in the pudding right there and let you know uh, how I feel about it so far. So let me go ahead and finish up wrapping up the car. I'll dry it off and then uh, we'll make some final results there. But at least you got to see it the way it looks now. And uh, is there suds still left? Yes, there clearly is still suds left. So, all right, let me wrap it up. All right, guys, time to show off exactly what the hybrid V07 car wash from Chemical Guys looks like when it's done. It actually looks really, really good on the car. However, you'll see in the video that the car has lots of swirls in it from the previous owner. So you can't fault me on that. You know I keep my stuff up, but you're going to see a lot of swirls in this uh, video walking around. So just letting you know, this is why I'm doing steps at a time. And the first thing I was obviously washing the car. And then what I'm doing is then I'm going to pull it in the garage, clay bar it, and then go ahead and um, start polishing and compounding it if it needs it, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm just doing a little bit of steps at a time, but this was just a review video for the hybrid V07 car wash. So that way you could know. But I wanted to show you the results before I give you my final two, two cents opinion of it. Ugh, it's just ugh, seeing those squirrels gets me every time. But I know that's not me. This is not the way I treat my cars, but it's okay. I mean, literally, I quite literally, I bought a brand new high-end mitt just for this car. So if that tells you anything how I take care of my stuff, because you're always supposed to switch out the wash mitt about every six months is what the pros recommend. So I try and keep up with that, and then I just cycle those to the actual wheel mitts. So I turn those into wheel mitts. So just giving you a heads up of what I personally do. So all right, guys, let me go ahead and uh, put the thing on the tripod, and we'll talk about the final results. But damn, GTR in red looks good. That's my life every day. Orlando International Airport. All right. All right, guys, let's do the final results here real quick of the Chemical Guys V07 Hybrid Car Wash. And man, it does look really good. The suds, I'd say, were on a B level from where I would like them to be. 
but I'm guessing because the suds did last actually pretty good through the whole thing as you saw towards the end there that with a foam gun or a foam cannon specifically the foam would probably be just out of this world thick but I want to try and give you a real world two bucket result system and I try to do that for you in every video so right now I would give it a solid B maybe B plus because it actually did a decent job it just wasn't as thick and as rich as I'd like uh, the diversity was not, almost non-existent and uh, maybe that just has the fact it's just a cleaner and that's fine too but it's just my own personal opinion that's what these reviews are just personal opinion everybody has their own so I would say solid B to B plus right now on this product decent I uh, maybe one of these days I'll actually try to foam uh, my foam cannon and you can actually I'll make another video showing it off but for right now I just want to do the basic setup but it actually does look very very good you can see the red looks just pops and it looks just gorgeous. I mean, I was originally going to go with the blue GTR, the deep blue pearl, but when this came up, it was just too good of a deal to pass up, and that's why I originally even got the red, and I stayed with the red, versus going to a different color. And uh, the next thing, of course, I'm going to tint the windows and stuff like that, but that's all down the road. So right now, this is just a review video. So there you go, guys. There's my final thoughts of the Chemical Guys uh, V07 hybrid system car wash. Uh, it looks really good. I can't wait to go ahead and start working on the clay bar and uh, actually working on the polish and all that stuff. It looks, it'll be looking really good then. So guys, I hope you really like this video. If you did like my honest opinion, go ahead and give me a thumbs up for that. Subscribe, share my videos. Hey, I have a GTR now and I am love it. I'm gonna be loving to clean this bad boy all the time. So you'll be able to subscribe and you'll be able to see these in random videos coming up here in the future because like I said, I'm doing step by step now since I just got it on Saturday. Now I gotta clean it up. So now like I said, we're doing a clay bar and then I'm gonna do polish and compound a little bit and then I'll be throwing some wax on. So I've got a long day ahead of me, but it's okay. I haven't even touched the inside, but not worried about the inside. Right now, it's getting the paint corrected and everything perfect and looks beautiful again. So, guys, I will see you at the very next video. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care.